as the plan bring this puck out of their own zone done back along the line by Schistel Tansky turns in the corner back hands that round for Johnson holding on the puck is Marcus Johnson he has to dump that in Scott Pitt with his back to the net will turn as Becker heads down the slot Pitt gets that put back at the top of the circle a half dump half shot into the corner Travis Erhard back to the slot shot blocked of Howlett he shoots again this time off another defenseman into the netting and will have a stoppage good to see uh, Mac Howlett getting out there straight away for the Glasgow clan Jack Musil the uh, other youngster uh, out on the injury list and while we're speaking of young Brits David Clements makes his 300th appearance for the Coventry Place tonight and he joins the illustrious club that includes people like Calder Carlson Soderstrom Pieses Erhard drives one low right off the draw low glove on Mott and what a start for the visitors Stu Fantastic start for the visitors. Travis Erhardt there catching all of that from the blue line off the face-off win. We'll see it again there. Peacock comes in, wins the draw, just a little tap back to Erhardt and then just fires it low, just past the glove side in that awkward spot, just over the pad, just by the glove and uh, gets it past CJ Mott, 1-0 clan. Dylan Lawrence will chase this into the corner. He's hit into the backboards. Maintains his feet quite nicely there, Dilly, as uh, Howlett is contesting that puck. Lawrence dumps it in for Venus. Tips it off the boards. Shot comes in. Block it away by Killeen as Dylan Lawrence was encroaching. Dave Broll finds that puck back to the point. It's chipped in for him to chase. The big man throws it through the offensive zone and ends up leaving and collected by Hamannick. Him and Justin Hashi. Exchange passes, is Andrew Johnston right up the gut here. Big chance for Johnston, and he scores! Plays fire right back, and a tremendous pass springs Andrew Johnston into life with the moves through the five hole. And, uh, well, Stu, we predicted this game and have a lot of goals, and two minutes in, we have two markers already. We have two markers already. Finds that space all the way down centre ice, and Andrew Johnston just puts the jets on, and like you say, Forehand, backhand, and just as that movement draws Colleen across, opens up the five hole for him to just slot it underneath. Yeah. Hashi. Nice stick handling into the zone. Leaves it off for Ferrara. Larkinen guides it down. Luke Ferrara again gets hit by Springer. Big source of pass through. Oh, Larkinen guides one in. Colleen scrambling, and Hashi didn't get that one in the wheelhouse as the Blaze were looking to uh, strike as Jerome has jumped on Larkinen. He digs and a save from CJ Mott, short handed on the wraparound. A diving stop again from CJ Mott as Mikael Lidhammer saw the opportunity to wrap it around, and well, CJ Mott proving the best power play man so far, Stu, here is. A wonderful attempt on the deke by the Dane. Yeah, Bjerum gets the puck and then Mott doesn't cover it, so Lidema comes back round and Mott oh. just sprawls out, full Superman dive to try and get make sure that it, the uh, gloves were in the way there. Yeah. As the Blaze will go on their second power play of the night, face off to the left of Pat Killeen, won cleanly by Ferrara. Hashi finds Fed, who again takes the body off the defenseman. Coventry got good penetration, but they couldn't feed that puck out to Yanni Larkinen. And away come the clan shorthanded again. Tansky shooting, glove down by Mott. He has a second chance under the arm of CJ Mott. And the clan shorthanded get their lead back. And that's a few times that we've seen the Coventry Blaze broken against inside the first eight minutes. And this time, Scott Tansky on the second opportunity beats CJ Mott. The clan have been very aggressive on their penalty kill so far. And as soon as that loose punk's there, they jump right on it. And Tansky just drives hard down that wing. He's got nobody in front of him. So he makes the most of that space, takes the first shot, gets the rebound, puts the second one home. Hamannick, wrist shot through traffic. That took a piece of a body on the way through. and. Hamnick will crank one here over the top of Killeen. Hashi. 
back for Hamannick. He steps in. Traffic in front, and Patrick Clean has it in the glove hand as Blaise sent bodies in and around the big netminder. He comes up with a good tears, too. Nice save there from Killeen, gets himself nice and square just before the traffic starts to come in front. So he knows that even though the bodies are moving in front of him, he's got himself into a good position to make that save. Nice patient breakout from the clan, although some pressure from Ferrara almost paid dividends as chipped it again by Tansky to chase. He makes them a much better team, Scott Tansky. Very good skating forward as he picks up that loose puck on the forecheck. Finds the glove of CJ Mott with the chance, though. Nice play again from Tansky. Like you say, he's driving hard offensively, pushing to make plays. And there you see, picks up the puck, turns it over in the offensive zone, and then just straight, he turns his body and then just looks to make the shot. He knows that there's no one else really in the offensive zone with him. He's got a player that's kind of behind him, which is probably in a worse position. So he's kind of having to make that shot and gets a really good outcome uh, by getting the face off. Yeah, puck ends up being brought right out in front of CJ Mott. He makes a save off Scott Tansky as the defenseman sits down, no on the port. As we see a little physical action in front of the Blaze Netminder. Schistel. Puck in his feet. Clan retain possession. Pafal across to Travis Earhart again. Pafal, Laporte opens up for the one-timer. The defenseman goes himself. Oh, and it falls for Laporte to hit it on the bounce. No one had tracked it, including the netminder. The goal is gaping, and Laporte, well, he had a chance here, Stu. It was, uh, you'd have liked this a little bit more settled, but he looks like he's the only player on the ice who knows where that puck is. Pretty much everybody else has got their back turned to that. I mean, it, it looks from that position on first glance that that's a golden opportunity, but it's not because that puck's coming down. <clears throat> he's pretty much hit it on the ice, and because he's kind of got his blade underneath it as well, he skies it straight forward. It's a really difficult one to take. Blaze come forward, shot blocked and wide of Pat Killeen's goal. Howlett will jump on it. Ends up kind of getting in the way with Springer. Blaze is going to make a move here, chance! Oh, what a glove save from Patrick Killeen. Superb on Yanni Larkin. Robbed it out the air as CJ Mott plays that puck the other end to the perimeter. And that was the chance the Blaze wanted, Stu. And a wonderful save on the spin. And the Blaze bringing this out. 11 and a half minutes having gone in the second period. Oh, chance here for the clan. Laporte heads to the net. Laporte, a swing, and he got connection, but CJ Mott got the uh, blocker down to make a save. Hamannick. Clan kicking up the gears here a little. And they look the better of the two sides once again. Robertson across to Pufal. Shot low, couple of tips. CJ Mott's diving, but he can't keep it out. And the clan have a two goal lead. And we were just saying, Stu, that the visitors look like they're clicking back into gear here. And they muscle one over the line of CJ Mott's goal. Sheer persistence from the clan on this one. Moving the puck around nicely, but then as soon as it gets in front, there's lots of players who are on there. Bieram just shovels it in. Is, is it the, that last stick that gets it across? I think it might be. So Bieram on the back door there, just backhanding it over the line. Johnston able to kick it round. Larkin has some time and space to work with. Finds Ferrara. He looks in, shoots off the block on Robertson. Ferrara back in possession, trying to toss it round for Larkinen, but the clan grab it and clear it. Puck dropped off by Jonsson. Blaze might recover it here. They've got numbers. Andy Johnson heading straight to the net. Larkinen nearly found him. Good stick play by Erhard to take Andy's stick away as Chris Polkamp tried to shoot that one that was a saucer pass to him. Laporte had a similar chance uh, earlier in the game as Ferrara turns and shoots blocked. He's got another chance on the back door and the Blaze score! Andrew Johnston, his second of the evening. And the Coventry Blaze get a big goal right before the break. And it's that line again, Stu, that the Blaze find energy off every single evening. That was the spark they needed. 
nice work from Luke Ferrara then looks as if he's going to take that second shot off the rebound but then just flicks it onto the backhand he's seen Andrew Johnston there and he's got an effective tap in chipped in by Lawrence chased by Venus good speed from Ross Venus Springer shrugged into the glass shot from Chris Polkamp good save Killeen and Springer can't get that loose puck up and out. Chipped in behind. Here is Chris Polkamp again. Feathers it around the boards. Gets it back. Tried a shot from a, a, a bad angle. Coventry still have it in the zone. Puck down low. It came off Dylan Lawrence. David Broll. Oh my goodness. David Broll found that right on his stick. Couldn't pull the trigger though. Oh, the big man nearly. Had the game tying goal right there, Stu. Fantastic anticipation to realise where the puck was going to come out to because I think he predicted it was going to end up there. Oh, and again, a good bit of reading by Venus. Drives the net front, rebound. Oh, a, off the post, I think. Foul post from Dylan Lawrence. As he sends it back out in front, Chris Polkamp winds up. Across for Eichstadt, shoots, big tip. Big save, Killeen. Robbing Ross Venus. And the Blaze look like they might have their mojo back here, Stu. Brawl. Eichstad. Chris Polkamp. He shoots. Good save, Killeen. He holds on. And the clan needed that stoppage as well. Pat Killeen definitely made one big save. Probably made two. Almost certainly made two. One from Dylan Lawrence, point blank. Probably getting something on it to force it on the post. And then there, right on the doorstep again, just moments later. Outstanding work from the netminder, bailing out the clan when they need him most. As the Blaze have this set up in the zone now. 55 seconds left of power play. Chance in, just wide of the net. Larkinen to the net front. It's taken away as I think Yanni thought about the shot, tried to create with a pass instead as CJ Mott will stick handle that one Laporte was coming in aggressively Schistel stick handles himself oh he's poke checked as well that came out of nowhere it's a fantastic little poke check from his opposite number there yeah as Andrew Johnston now gets into the zone his pass behind pole camp but Venus will settle things down 20 seconds after man advantage Schistel to the left wing side Chance in! Matt Polkamp looked for the rebound off the Bluedoff shot. Johnston on this near side wing. Klana imminently back to full strength, but the Blaze had a chance and it's happening for Matt Polkamp with two seconds left in the power play. And the Blaze have got it all tied up, Stu. And Matt Polkamp given all the time in the world to tap that one home, and he does. Sensible play from the power play unit there. Looking to try and find the open man, and they have to work hard on the advantage. Andrew Johnston looks up, finds on the far side, but instead of the shot, squares back straight to Matt Polkamp, who then has another one of the easy tap-ins. They've worked hard for those opportunities, but the Blazer finally made them pay. Yeah. No, Schuster will chase this one back in his own zone. Jonsson putting him under some pressure. Oh, he, oh, he dragged the man down. I thought he'd won the puck there, and somehow the Blaze have come with it the other way. A shot saved by Colleen. There's a rebound, and Matt Polkamp couldn't quite guide it home on the backhand. He feeds it to the defenseman. Here's Clements now. Corcoran wants it. Corcoran gets it. Corcoran shoots it just wide. As the Blaze really look like the team that we saw last night in Cardiff, that we've seen since uh, late December, early January. They've only lost one game in reg since January. Is a, oh, a penalty again against the Glasgow clan and Coventry back on the power play. They scored on the last one. They score on this one. They'll have the lead in this game for the first time tonight. And the last thing Coventry need is a, a, a conceding another shorty is, you know, Tansky to start the game off. Gave the Blaze a, a few headaches. Six minutes to go in regulation. Game tied. Hashi across the line. Bludoff. Oh, big chance for Ferrara. He scores. Of course he does. And Luke Ferrara gives the Blaze the lead. And the clan can see two huge goals. And Coventry 
in front for the first time tonight. And how you can give the league's leading goal scorer that much time and space, I don't know, Stuart. I absolutely don't know how you can get away with it. He's drifted in there, center ice. The closest player to him is Nolan, the Port sorry, Lyndon Springer on the back end, but it's just, that's just too much space for Luke Ferrara. He's never gonna miss from there, as we can see. As a kind of got six out skaters to the blaze five with clean on the bench. <clears throat> a big last gasp throw of the dice for Zuck Fitzgerald's troops. And they kind of really not done much with this breakout. You know, they've been floundering around in their own zone for a good 25 seconds here. Now they'll get a breakout. But that's valuable seconds that have come off the clock. Earhart off the stick of Brawl. He gets it clear. That might bank in. Oh, it hit the post! David Bro. The Blaze might still get the empty netter here. It was away from Venus from Lawrence's pass. One minute to go. Lawrence collides with Laporte. A big hit from Bro. It's all happening here. As the clan take it back behind their net again. 50 seconds to go. Skydome on its feet. Puck chipped in. Schistel. Couldn't grab it out the air. Tansky to Springer, back to Scott Tansky, he turns in. Springer shoots off a body through a crowd, Blaze don't get it clear. Earhart takes it round behind the net. Looks out in front, oh a big save CJ Mott! And the Blaze will go for the empty net with Bro. He shoots, he scores! And the Blaze seal the points. And I tell you what Stu, CJ Mott makes a ginormous double save that allows the Blaze to clear the zone and David Bro cleans up the two points with a backhand into the gaping net. Yeah, manages to get it and flicks it. Points to the sky as well. Know how much that goal will mean to him this evening. Great work from Bro. He's, he's had an excellent game. They've worked really hard that line and it's just rewards.